Hey everyone, Victor here, Director and Lead Engineer of Charging Ecosystems and Energy Storage Solutions. And I'm here to answer some of the questions that were in the comments. First question, can I charge the XT at home? Of course, you can charge your XT at home, publicly, commercially, on any level one, level two, or level three charger, whether it be CCS or an AAC charger. So next question I'm gonna read over here, it's pretty long. Um, I like it and I really wanted to answer it. I have seen where Mark mentioned you can run welders off the truck battery. As a professional welder, I have a few questions. First, will I be able to set the maximum power that welders can use? Obviously, I don't wanna run the truck totally dead and be stuck on a job site, but some of the sites are only a few miles from the house. So being able to run it down to let's say 10% would be good, but other job sites are 100 plus miles from the house and I would need more power left than the battery to get home. Have y'all thought about letting us set auxiliary power available or would I just have to go out to the truck and monitor it every so often? My other question is if I have a 10,000 welder generator, uh, will it also be able to charge the truck and what is the estimated time it would take? I know the battery can be charged another 15 minutes, but I haven't seen anything about the requirements to change that fast. And I know some EV currents on the market do need some kind of hack to trick the EV to allow it to charge from a generator. I'm sure y'all thought of this, and since you're building the XP to be a truck for the working man, I just haven't seen any info on this stuff, and I thought I'd ask. I love that question for a couple of reasons. The first one is, you have recommendations, you have ideas, definitely pitch it in. You know, we're looking at suiting you. You're the, the perfect people that we're talking about that's gonna drive the XT and XP. Um, so to answer the first question is, uh, yeah, absolutely, you're gonna see the ability to set uh, kind of a power limit that you can uh, pull from the truck. So this way you're not gonna go to your construction site where you don't have a charger and run a dead. You're gonna have that algorithm in there to know that you're 100 miles away from home. So we gotta make sure that you have the charge uh, to make it home. And we wanna make sure that's as user-friendly as possible. The second one, the generator question, briefly touched upon. Um, absolutely, as long as you have anywhere between 208 to 277 volts AC, you could charge that truck. Um, granted, you know, we're talking about alternative energy using batteries, but absolutely you could use a, a diesel generator or natural gas generator or any other type of alternative source to power up the generator, just as long as it meets the minimum power requirements. Convenient. Risto. Uh, hey, I'm in the front. Yeah, I'm recording a video. Okay, bye. Next question. Can I use solar to charge the XT? Of course you can. Granted, it depends how much solar, and if you want to charge quicker, you might want a lot of solar panels in order to charge the, the vehicle in a faster way. We we'll recommend a higher power 50 amp plus circuit uh, to charge that vehicle quickly. Next question. Can I use a generator to charge the XT? Well, yes, you can. Granted, you're gonna want a generator that can do 30 plus kilowatts to charge the vehicle. Otherwise, it's kind of like, what's the point? You're using fuel to charge an electric vehicle. But yes, it will work. Likewise, you can do it the other way around. You can use the XT and use that to charge other vehicles. Can the XT charge other vehicles? Oh, I already answered it. Can it charge other vehicles? That, that's literally the next question. Next question, can the XT power my house during a blackout? Absolutely. The size of the battery pack can definitely power your house. It's got a dedicated 110 up front and the rear of the vehicle, as well as 240. That can power a lot of things. Welder, refrigerator, you know, nearly anything. It's got a lot of power, almost as much as your house. Next question. So where is Atlas gonna build this infrastructure? You're gonna see this infrastructure in areas where uh, you see a lot of uh, uh, different industries, uh, uh, infrastructure, industrial, agriculture, mining areas, uh, mostly outside of uh, urban areas like cities. You're gonna see more highway corridors. Uh, and this is important because you typically wouldn't have a need to do megawatt charging uh, in city areas because you're so close to level two in DC fast chargers under 350 kilowatts that, you know, you got enough time overnight to charge the vehicle at less power. It takes a lot of energy in order to fast charge a vehicle. Um, so you're gonna tend to see these more areas where I need to pull in, charge up quickly and go. Maybe give it, you know, five plus years, you're gonna start seeing them more towards in city areas where you wanna refuel quickly. But the benefit of having an electric vehicle is you could charge at your home, at your work, where you eat, where you play. So these type of megawatt chargers you tend to see in more uh, industrial areas and, and uh, uh, fleet yards, uh, construction sites, just places you have to charge and keep moving quickly. Yeah, and uh, until we have more questions that I can answer, this is it for this video. Thank you and stay tuned for the next one.